This is the first full week that Little Rock Mayor Frank Scott Jr. has a security detail. He is now being protected by the city's police force after apparent serious safety concerns. Isabella Moeller joins us live now in studio to explain. Isabella. Good morning, Ashley. Yeah, the mayor tells us the police department is the one who recommended the protection. The mayor's spokeswoman says the protection detail will consist of one to two officers, depending on the mayor's day-to-day -day schedule. In a statement, the mayor says in part, quote, I have been made aware of serious safety concerns. Concerns. It is critical to me that I remain accessible and approachable to the people of Little Rock, but I feel that it is equally important that I respect the professionals of the Little Rock Police Department. The mayor says in February, then chief, interim chief recommended the detail, and then when Chief Keith Humphrey took over, it was recommended again to accept the protection out of an abundance of caution. So we did speak to three board of directors who did say that they were not aware of the protection detail. We've asked about any direct threats towards the mayor and have not heard back yet. Now, there are several other cities like Shreveport, Birmingham, Memphis, and Nashville where their mayors there have police protection detail. Ashley? All right, thanks, Isabella. Two LRPD officers remain on leave this morning after an officer-involved shooting. That shooting happened on Sunday at the Shackleford Crossing Shopping Center when someone spotted a man carrying a gun. Police say that man, 42-year-old Michael St. Clair, ran from them and then shot at them. The two officers, Ryan Steubenroch and Chandler Taylor, shot back, killing him. If it would have hit maybe a few inches to the right, it probably would have hit me. Or maybe like an inch or two down, it probably would have hit my daughter and her leg. Little Rock police are also investigating this morning after a bullet hit a car while a man's daughter was inside. He says he saw a silver sedan pull up to a stop sign near 22nd and Marshall Street Saturday night. The windows were down and at least three people were in the car. The father then heard a gunshot and what sounded like glass shattering. Moments later, he realized his car had been hit. The bullet went through his door, grazed his steering wheel and lodged in the passenger side door. Right now, police do not have any suspects. A Little Rock police need your help finding a woman who's been missing for a week. Police say Penny Ellen Ramos was last heard from one week ago today. She may also be going by the name Penny Fagan. She's about five foot two and weighs 150 pounds. If you have any information on where she may be, please give police a call. I have never, ever heard of anybody stealing undergarments. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> a suspected underwear thief arrested in Russellville. Yes, as Tyler Thomason explains, it's a story that has this tight-knit community uncomfortable. Wheels turn and so do heads. I love ways having a good time. On a day like this, Russellville's city park can bring out a crowd. <laughs> It's been nice to watch all the children out today, you know. Carla Langford visits with her uncle on a bench. The lively scene sits just across the way from where police say a neighborhood break-in went below the belt. I've never really heard of anything like that. Russellville police arrested Luis Bernal Lopez back on April 14th after authorities say he forced his way into a neighbor's attic here on G Street then stole several pairs of her underwear. That makes me uncomfortable. I definitely would be concerned somebody wanting my undergarments. According to a police report, Bernal Lopez entered his neighbor's duplex attic by breaking down a wall that connected his and hers. The neighbor told police she noticed a towel rack in her bathroom was bent and insulation had spilled onto the floor. Police say after searching Bernal Lopez's apartment, they found six pairs of women's underwear. A suspected invasion of privacy. It makes you think, what kind of people do we really have? That people like Carla say hits too close to home. The suspect, Bernal Lopez, has since bonded out of the Pope County Jail and he faces burglary and criminal mischief charges. These dogs in Malvern need new homes by the end of the week, or they could be euthanized. The Malvern Animal Shelter announced it will temporarily close after Friday, so it's pushing to get all the pets fostered or adopted. According to the city's police department, staffing issues are causing the shelter to close for two weeks. Police say while the shelter is closed, it will still take in dogs considered vicious.
Next school year, many elementary students across the state will get double the recess time. A new law increases playtime from 20 to 40 minutes a day. I'm sure kids are happy about that. North Little Rock Elementary Schools will be extending their class days from 2.30 to 2.50. They will still start at 7.50. Principals and their staff will decide how to split up the 40 minutes of playtime. Some will extend lunchtime recess by 10 minutes and have another 10 minutes at the end of the day. Others plan to use it as a solution to tardiness. Putting that um, extra recess first thing in the morning. So that can be an, an incentive to get kids to school on time. Um, and then if they are a little bit late, it's not taking out of instruction. Some schools are still discussing how they plan to implement the new law into their daily schedule. New Orleans has Bourbon Street. Memphis has Bill Street. Could Arkansas be next? There's a new law that will allow cities and towns across the state to pass their own ordinance to create an entertainment district. Visitors could carry and, could carry and drink alcohol on the streets and sidewalks permanently or on a temporary basis, like at an event or festival. The mayor of North Rock says this issue has come up several times over the years. Now he is planning to cautiously move forward. We don't want to turn uh, our downtown uh, entertainment district into Bourbon Street, for sure. Uh, but we're going to look at our options to try to figure out what's going to enhance the uh, experience of coming to our entertainment district. North Rock and some other cities plan to meet to discuss the new law sometime within the next month. All right, 808.